Mohammad Zaid. I have completed my PhD in sociology from Government College University of Hyderabad. And now I'm currently working as a assistant professor of sociology in the Department of Sociology University of Agriculture Festival. My area of expertise is sociology of development, in which I make some projects on national and international level that is funded by the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan, NFFC from China, and Pakistan Science Foundation. Currently, I am working on some youth welfare related projects. And my concern is always to meet the youth in the development side. And here in this conference, I am going to present a lecture on the area of population and development as that is based on the youth population and targeted the youth because in Pakistan, the 65% population is investing on youth. That's why I am placing myself in the optimistic paradigm of development and working for the utilization of the youth population. So now I am going for the presentation and share the screen with the audience. Yes, this is the my topic of debate today, utilization of demographic dividend, an optimistic source of socioeconomic development in Punjab, Pakistan. As I mentioned earlier, the population, increasing population is a very current trend in the Pakistan. From the beginning of Pakistan, as when the partition is emerged in 1947, the population of Pakistan is continuously growing. And due to some cultural and religious constraints, so they are unable to control this population. So now the development scholars are working to utilize that population. Today, my speech is insisting on the following outline that's based on introduction, review of literature, theoretical and conceptual framework, methodology, results and discussion, conclusion and suggestions. So this is the introduction. The demographic bonus or demographic dividend refers to the opportunity created over a period of about 40 to 50 years during which as a result of reduced proportion of dependent children, the proportion of population of labor force age increasing significantly, resulting in direct and indirect opportunities to increase per capita output. A country is set to be in demographic dividend phase when majority of the population under the working age. Dependency ratio minimum that is very few population below age 15 and above the age of 64. Age pyramid shows bulges in the middle of the population. Other portion. Developed in industrialized countries utilize this demographic transition for the social economic development in the form of labor force participation, social and human capital formation. But the developing country, unfortunately, do not utilize this population and consider it a burden. Then this country will not manage and utilize the skills of working age population and suffer in the educational sector as well as labor market because they don't have enough space in education institution and labor market. Demographic dividend has two effects on per capita income, age structure effect by increasing the strength of working age group in the whole population, increasing the proportion of producer to consumer. And the second are the behavioral effects, which include upgrades, general efficiency, which improved expertise level of the laborer, that increase the market productivity and increase fuel role within an education institution as well as in the labor market. Demographic development occurs when a falling birth rate change the age distribution so that fewer investments are needed to meet the need of the youngest age group and resources are released for investment in economic development and family welfare. The demographic dividend can be reaped through three indicators the human capital, the labor supply, and the labor force participation, and saving PO. The human capital includes the less, uh, makes the less economic pressure, better health facility, and education. And the labor force participation includes the women job, economy able to good prospect supply, and more workers, and saving personal saving fuel economy. 
perspectives about demographic dividend. There are three proper perspectives existing in these population studies that is the pessimistic school, optimistic school, and the revisionist. The pessimistic school is based on the Malthus idea that considers the growing population is always dangerous for society. And if this is unchecked, then the structure of the population will be disturbed. On the other hand, the optimistic school of thought rejects the dark sciences and the philosophy of Malthus and based on the proper utilization of the population. Optimists have emphasized that growing population is putting pressure on people to innovative and find the new ways to sustain themselves. And the third perspective, revisionist, which is believe that there is no concern of the population change. Means the population is not protecting. Next here is the objectives of the studies. Objective of study. The study overall objective is to harness the term of demographic dividend and its implication for social economic development and suggest some ideas. The first objective, the specific objective, is to study the social economic and demographic statistics of each corner to prove the determinants of existing demographic dividend, to analyze the reason that convert the vertiginous population into burden, to check the demo effect of demographic dividend on social economic development. And, and then to recommend policy measure how a large proportion is used for deconstruction and recycling of society. Taking the review of literature, in this chapter, researchers select different kinds of review from different countries based on some variable that is related to my study. Here is the first indicator of the diagram of history. Here, the researchers study the uh, different variables family size, education, income, occupation, tax, and marital status. From the different scholars' point of view about that, and to consider these had a strong effect on the growth of the population. Other than the determinants of demographic dividend, here the researcher discussed the various components that are based on the increasing population. The main variable of the concern are the high fatality, falling death rate, early marriages, improved health facility, use of contraceptive, new literacy rates, lack of awareness. Cast of contraceptives, social cultural practices, and religious ideology. These are the components that are based for, that are responsible for the increasing population and that convert the population into the dividend. This data is from Pakistan, India, China, Africa, Latin America, UAE, Canada, Australia, Uganda, Philippines, and Colombia. The same kind of the indicators are responsible there for the rate of growth population. Here, the other are the components that are using for the reaping the demographic dividend. The human capital development is the most important indicator because increasing child ratio is responsible to invest some more on the children. The entrepreneurship, this is another component. If there is a strong youth population, then society should focus on the entrepreneurship and increase employment, and that it has a strong positive effect on the development. And the labor force participation and LFP, FLFP, and labor empowerment are another indicator that is getting from the review from the US, Canada, Germany, India, China, Pakistan, Chad, Sudan, UAE, Syria, Brazil, and South Africa. And they are based on the work of various scholars and claim that labor force participation is an important for the development, particularly female involvement in labor is essential for development in the economic and social group. Social economic development is the main dependent variable, and here are different kinds of variables that are affecting the social economic development of society that include high working age, population, health condition, housing facility, human development index, HDI, food and nutrition, low crime rate, employment, high enrollment, population control, population welfare policy, education. These all are the indicators that are determine the condition of a country. Next is the theoretical framework. Theoretical framework was on the Malthusian and Solo model described and analyzed population growth and its effect on economic growth in different ways. Malthus concerned with the interaction of population with naturally existing sources like land, food pattern, etc. On the other hand, Solo model focused on the relationship between population and money, 
per capita. Model of mass explains the income level with respect to the population size, where a solo model tries to make a association between population and income level. Malthus is considered population and income is the internal factor, while the solo model income is considered income is the internal factor, but growth comprises an external factor. Basically, the Malthus model is concerned with the population is naturally existing and that affects the increasing population, the food pattern of a country. On the other hand, the solo is considered that the income has a positive impact, the income is responsible for the increasing population. There are some other theories that are based, uh, discussed under the theoretical framework. Demographic transition theory is claimed that the population of a country travels from two stages. The stage for the birth rate and death rate are high, the poor socioeconomic condition and very low level of development. On the second stage, high birth rate but low in the death rate, better mental health facility, slight improvement in socioeconomic condition, development of some extent. And the stage side is concerned with the low birth and death rate. In this study, the main concern is the stage two because Pakistan is standing on the second stage where they control the birth of us, uh, our society. Uh, Death of society, but the birth rate is still high. That is responsible for creating youth births and the demographic development situation. Demographic change and response is based on the how when the uh, population of the country is increased and what can be checked are the change and response are faced in society. There are two kinds of response: the demographic response and the non-demographic response. In demographic response, the control of fertility rate and the postponed marriage. And the non-demographic response may include the second job. Longer by installation of resources. And again, in the Pakistan society, the demographic response is very low due to the religious and cultural ideology pattern in the Pakistan society. So, the focus of the study and the government is on the non demographic response for the provision of more jobs. And the human capital theory, this is important with respect to the demographic dividend because the demographic dividend, the huge proportion is increased. Now the individual needs more invest, investment, more education training. When uh, we provide more education and investment, invest more on the child, then the knowledge and skills are improved, the productivity and efficiency of increase, and the earning increase that will lead to the development. Sociological perspective about the phenomena. These are different theories that are discussing about the population, but as a sociologist, I am concerned with where the in which perspective we can place this idea. The optimistic point of view of utilization of population for socioeconomic development comes under the head of the structure functionalism. A wilder head was the first functionalist to talking about the idea in the dynamic density. This is the conceptual framework that is based on some background independent dependent variable of the study and through this data is collected. The material and method this is the integrated approach, both qualitative and quantitative data is collected. The study area is the three districts of the province Punjab, Pakistan, that is Multan, Faisalabad, and Dirabal Pati. This is the sampling plan. The sample is collected by the Saroyamni formula, and the sample of 519.89 is related to the Saroyamni formula that is rounded to collect the final 520 respondent. This is the detailed picture of the sampling plan, plan okay, how the three zone. And the three districts are selected, and when the UCs are selected, and then the area, and then 180 to 160 and 180 in total 520 respondents are selected. This is data collected through the interview guide and the interview schedule for the qualitative and quantitative, both essential and descriptive statistics are used, thematic analysis used for qualitative data, and SPS and MOs used for the quantitative data. These are results and discussion. Here are some hypotheses. This is the relationship between the age and the socioeconomic condition of a country. So this is concerned that where the young population is increased, there, there is a low, maximum chance of the development. Um, the second hypothesis is based the schooling of and the development stage. The schooling or the education of a respondent is a very important. The education level can determine the level of the development of society, and this hypothesis is accepted by rejecting the non-hypothesis in the study are made with the various scholars. This is the labor force participation. The labor force participation also an important indicator. When we get providing a job to the, the youth, then there should be an increase in the rate of the population, uh, population development. 
is also rejecting the null hypothesis and accepting the alternate. This is the human capital formation. Human capital formation is what is indicated. So, human capital formation, we can manage the all data. Skill development, self skill development also has a positive relationship with the social economic development of society because skilled labor can easily absorb and get more responses. The multivariate analysis, the regression analysis to apply to check the relationship between the variable and the finding of the variable shows that the model is a significant effect on the other, and the value of R scale shows that 87% the effect on the dependent variable due to these predictors. Second is a mediation model in which this model is used as the human capital development and social economic development is determined by using the labor force participation. Labor force participation is an intermediate variable and mediate here. The result shows the intermediation variable, the all hypotheses have a significant effect on each other, and there is a partial mediation between the variables. Thematic analysis is used for the qualitative data. These steps are used in thematic analysis, familiarity with the data, then be an initial course, search for theme, review theme, define the theme, and finally the write up. These are the major themes that are used for utilization of the dividend. Then we have entrepreneurial activities, skill development, labor force participation in our left side, that's human capital, saving, education, achievement. These all are the components that are used for the utilization of the dividend. On the other hand, if you look at the right side, with the early marriages and economic recession, poverty, lack of population policy and extremism, these are the factors that are responsible for missing the dividend in the state. Conclusion on the basis of finding it was considered that Pakistan is facing the demographic transition phase and it how has now the window for opportunity that brings social economic development in Pakistan. Pakistan reaped and utilized its dividend through human capital formation, saving investment, and labor force participation in population welfare policy. This is the model. If we all have the indicator of the above mentioned on a green arrow that have the welfare policy, employment, schooling, and health facilities, labor and need that are used for the demographic utilization. On the opposite side is the red arrow that shows the child marriages, leaving school. These are the factors that are missing the dividend. This is the model for the harnessing of the demographic dividend, skill training, career counseling, political participation. And involvement through commitment attachment and beliefs can be helpful for reaching the social economic development. This is used by the model developed by using the history control theory. These are some suggestions that can be used for the development and better institution in institution building, labor productivity, inclusion of girls and women, training and education, and saving. These are some important suggestions that are drawn from the the uh, findings that the like, data that are analysis that are used for the for uh, the uh, utilization of the dividend and getting the development in society. These are literature that are cited and those in this file. And thank you so much. This is concerned about the demographic dividend and the development and how we can reap and harness the existing demographic situation in the developing country, particularly with the approaching Pakistan society. Thank you so much. I'm going to start with five.